This content is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It does not constitute investment advice. Hello, Trading IQ community. In this video, I'm going to show you an ICT strategy that I've been trading with using the Trading IQ ICT Master Suite Indicator. If you're not familiar with the ICT Master Suite Indicator, it's a free open source trading view indicator that takes pretty much every trading concept related to ICT and puts it into an all-in-one tool that traders can use anywhere. Again, the tool is free and open source, so I highly recommend checking it out. Now, inside the ICT Master Suite is the ability to actually test certain ICT models, like Model 2022, the Unicorn Model, the Silver Bullet Model, all strategies that I'll be discussing over the next several videos. But there's one strategy inside the ICT Master Suite that I I've personally been using on Bitcoin and Ethereum that I want to share with you guys today. Of course, this is not financial advice or a recommendation to use this strategy, but I'm excited to show you guys what I have found so far. But before I get into exactly how all of this comes together, if you have the time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on because your support helps us keep making content and indicators just like this for the community we love. Let's get back to it. Now let's take a look at what the model 2022 generally looks like. A lot of you traders are probably familiar with this model already, but in case you're a little bit fuzzy, I'll give a recap of how this model plays out so we can have very clear expectations going forward. Now what you see on my chart is roughly how the model 2022 long position plays out from a swing low. The model 2022 expects a swing high shortly after, but then the original swing low encounters a liquidity sweep. Now, a liquidity sweep is just when an obvious visible reference point, such as a swing high or swing low, equal highs, equal lows, a strong level, you get the idea. Market orders chew through the available liquidity sitting at that visible reference point and then trigger latent liquidity beyond the reference point which would be stop loss clusters. Now this exact same scenario can be the precursor for a complete breakout. We start to define this event as a liquidity sweep because once the stop loss cluster, if it exists, is fully triggered and all latent liquidity has been absorbed, if there's no more fuel for what could be a breakout to continue and price inevitably reverses following this exact interaction, we call it a liquidity sweep. Now, after the liquidity sweep, price is expected to break the swing high that formed before the liquidity sweep took place. And if that happens, we already have 80% of the model 2022 complete. That is a swing low, then a swing high form, and a liquidity sweep takes place of the initial swing low. And following that liquidity sweep, the swing high formed in step number two is completely broken to the upside. Once this happens, there's only one final condition left, and that is finding a fair value gap that occurred between 0.3 located here and 0.4 located up here. Generally, we try to find a fair value gap that happens right around the midpoint of this move from point number three to point number four, which is 50% of the range. But some traders like to look for the nearest fair value gap to the 618 level or even the 382 level. This part depends on personal preference and is actually and you can make these kinds of choices in the backtest settings for the model 2022 trading strategy. Now, this model also exists to the short side. You just take everything we explained here and flip it upside down, and you'll be able to see those short side trades on the chart when you're using the ICT master suite. So we don't need to spend a ton of time talking about them. Now, some of you might be thinking, that's not the hardest model to understand, but it does sound kind of complex to exist within inside of a coded trading strategy. And well, I have news for you. This model is excellently coded inside of the ICT master suite, which means everything we just went over is automatically identified by the ICT master suite indicator. And you can even backtest it 
all on your own on any chart or time frame to see if the model or the strategy is compatible with your trading plan. Now we're going to take a look at some backtest data and I just need to reinforce you guys that backtest results are hypothetical and simulated and are not a reflection of future performance. This is in no way a recommendation to buy, sell, or use this strategy and this is not financial advice. Now check out this trade on my chart here. We can see at each and every step that the indicator marked model 2022. Starting over here where my cursor is located, the first swing low up to the next swing high, and we can see exactly where the liquidity sweep took place of the initial swing low. And you can even see where my cursor is located here that the ICT master suite intentionally marked where a liquidity sweep took place. Following this liquidity sweep, the fuel that was generated by the stop loss cluster was absorbed and did not persist or allow for a full downside move. Price shortly reversed thereafter to the upside, broke the initial swing high, and even formed a fair value gap right around the 50% mark of the move. Now, once the final swing high was put in place, all we're waiting for is for price to retrace down to the fair value gap that formed during this upside swing. Now, price did revisit this fair value gap, and you can see right here where it reads long 2022 model, the ICT master suite initiated a hypothetical long trade. Now by default, the ICT master suite will use the 100% move point where my cursor is located as the profit target for backtesting and the 0% point of the move as the stop loss for backtesting. You can change where the profit target and stop loss are located on your own in the settings. But to introduce how model 2022 works inside of ICT master suite, using the 100% mark mark in the 0% mark is fine for this demonstration. Now after this specific long trade was taken in the simulation, we can see price quickly increased shortly after. Price never significantly held beneath this fair value gap and inevitably the profit target was hit. And you can see where the trade was exited here at the purple arrow marked L2. Now check out this final example of model 2022 but on the short side. We have a liquidity sweep marked up here where my cursor is located and then quite a significant downswing after that. And inside of this downswing, a fair value gap forms and once price swings to the upside and retests the fair value gap, you can see a short position is taken with the profit target located down here and we can see this is where the strategy exited and the stop loss placed at the top of the range. Now most importantly, and I highly suggest ICT traders to get comfortable with doing this is to check out the backtest data for the model 2022. Now remember, there's quite a few ways you can modify the way that model 2022 trades on the backtest, like where the fair value gap should be located to enter the trade, where the profit target and stop loss are placed, and even how aggressively the indicator tries to mark liquidity sweeps. Now the backtest I have here is the hypothetical simulated performance of model 2022 without any changes made to the default settings. For this simulated performance, we can see a 63% win rate in a 1.645 profit factor. And there's a ton of other performance data about model 2022 that we can look at to try to determine if the model 2022 will fit with our trading plan. So if you're going to take trading these models seriously, it's very important to get comfortable with this information. This way, you're not trading blind. Now, there are a ton of other ICT based strategies inside of the ICT Master Suite that can be back tested and modified so you can experiment around to see if any of these ICT strategies when coded are compatible with your trading plan. And I'll be covering exactly what these strategies are and how to set them up over the next few videos. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. Your support helps us keep making the content, the indicators, and videos we love 
for the community we love. And if you're looking for a trading home, check out our Discord server where we have a ton of active traders talking trading each and every day. And be sure to follow us on TradingView and Twitter. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.